Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform the thermal stress analysis on a elbow when it is subjected to both pressure and temperature. In this exercise, we are going to compare the magnitude of maximum equivalent stress with and without considering the temperature effect. So the material properties of the elbow is given. Now let's do the analysis. Open ANSYS workbench and choose static structural first I am going to define the material property so right click on that and click edit now define a new material the material name is GI so it's a isotropic elastic material so choose isotropic elastic and drop it here the Young's modulus value of the material is given as 210 e power 9. Then the Poisson ratio is given as 0 0.3. Now to define the coefficient of thermal expansion, so click the material and choose isotropic instantaneous coefficient of thermal expansion and drop it here. Now define the value, it is 14 E minus 6 per degree Celsius. We we'll go to the project. Next we are going to insert the geometry. So right click on the geometry, import geometry and choose the elbow.igs. Right click on the model and choose edit. First, let us generate the mesh. Now click the static structural and apply the boundary conditions. So first, I am going to apply a fixed support. So choose fixed support and click control and select the faces and click apply. Next, I am going to apply the pressure. So go to pressure and click control and choose the phases. Click apply. And the magnitude of pressure it is given as 1 E6 Pascal. Next, to apply the temperature, go to loads and thermal condition. Now to select the geometry, go to body selection tool and select the entire body, then click apply and the temperature is 148 degrees Celsius. Now right click on the solution, click solve. Now to view the results, right click on the solution, choose insert and select equivalent to one message stress. Other I am also selecting the total deformation. So right click on the solution and choose evaluate all results. Now click on the equivalent stress. So the maximum magnitude is around 6.7 E8. So to view the location of maximum stress, you can choose maximum. Similarly, you can also choose minimum. So the maximum stress occurs near the joint and the minimum at the bend location. Similarly, go to total deformation and the maximum deformation is 8 e power minus 5 meter. So you can save the results. So to save the results, go to image, choose image to file and this is maximum stress with considering the temperature effect. Now, to compare the result without uh, thermal condition, right click on the thermal condition and click suppress. Now again, click 
the solution and solve it. Now I have suppressed the thermal boundary. Now the elbow is subjected to only pressure. We'll choose equivalent stress. So you can see that the magnitude is 1.17 E7. So earlier it is around 6.7 E8. So due to the thermal condition, the maximum pressure gets increased and also you can see that the location of the maximum stress is also changed. Similarly, you can see the total deformation. So deformation also it is less compared to the thermal boundary condition. So whenever the temperature is increased, it is essential to consider the thermal condition to get the accurate results. Thank you.